and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Advance 4. Last time we continued the ingredient levels with Parabeetle Challenge to Ice Dungeon, and this time we're starting off with a Sky High Adventure. This is actually like, what, the fourth attempt at recording this? And I don't understand this any better. This level's a maze. It feels very Mario 2, uh, which is not a compliment. Uh, lots of invisible stuff, so that's part of my reason why I don't like this level. Because I don't like levels when they put invisible stuff, it just feels a bit cheap to me. Um, so what you want to do is, uh, not get hit there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we just have to come back for something a little bit later. You get 470, what, 500 seconds, so that's not a good sign. Okay, so what you want to do is get on top of the green block, first and foremost. And you may be wondering why, but there is a reason. Okay, can I actually... Oh, wow. Kind of a shortcut. Okay, get up here, and then what you want to do is build a P-Speed. And just fly. Just fly as normal, and follow the coins to the best of your ability, and land on this thing, Bob. And here, you get another invisible stuff room. Okay, grab this. This is a tanuki suit. Whenever you turn to stone, something special happens in this level. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the earliest point we can demonstrate this is. You can actually see invisible stuff. And also, you can break those blocks. Therefore, we can actually go back and do some other stuff. So first of all, drop all the way down. And you land at the beginning, because why not? Just start from scratch. In here... Um, is it this section, or is it the next one? It's the next one. In this section... No, down first. Okay, so turn invisible. You can kind of see the general route that we have to take. Uh, do that, just to get him out of the way. Uh, see ya. Okay, so just kind of commit that to memory. And jump. On the way back, it's actually easier because you can clear it in one jump. That's oddly enough coin number five, and I that that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Well, uh, so just kind of do the same strat. Just kind of turn invisible whenever you see that pattern on the wall, the sort of red and gray block pattern. That seems to be a good idea. Um, nothing in here, as far as I'm aware. So just fly. Fly, 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 and you get to this thing. You have to actually go outside the door, pick up this, and then you can actually get this. A little bit obtuse, but not too bad. And on the subject of obtuse, we're just getting started. And we've already used, what, 100 Mario seconds? So that's kind of a good indicator of how long this level is. Uh, I have a feeling you have to fly to the end, but I have no clue where the end is, so... Safe strats. For now, this door goes... to this cloud. Um... Which is how you get... how you're supposed to get up to the top, but I kinda winged it a little bit. Oh boy. This door takes you to a electric area. Okay, do that. Uh, you can actually take out the little sparks with, uh, the little tanuki move. Now, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this, but this is how I did it last time. Basically, just to bypass some of the enemies. The tanuki, the tanuki does have a timer, by the way, so make sure you're not, like, in a critical moment when you transform back. So, slide... And I have no clue where this door goes, because this is as far as I went. Okay, that's just for a coin. That is actually really good to know, because I didn't get that last time. Okay, back in this room. Not that door, because that door don't go nowhere. I don't know why I said it that way, but anyway. Okay, so we got this whole thing here. Uh, I'd suggest hitting the yellow switch first. Just saying. And then hit the P switch, and then just run. Just run like crazy. Uh, and it's really tight. 
the timing window here is like really tight. Hold right here, and boom, that's coin number three. Now, in all fairness, I don't even know where coin number four is. I haven't gotten it on the a playthrough of this yet. So I have no clue where it could be. Uh, I see a pipe up there. That, oops, did not mean to go through the door. Let's go through the pipe. That looks suspicious. That doesn't actually do anything for us. Okay, fly up some more. Okay, is this where we just were? Yes, it was. Okay. Then it drops us all the way down. Uh, and now I'm lost. Let's try doing this. Seeing. Wow, this level's big. We may have to look up a guide for this level because I am at a loss at this point. Because we're still missing the third coin, uh, which is weird. And I honestly have no clue where the third coin can even be. Like, I'm legitimately stumped. I have no idea. Um. And then also, there's the question of after you get the coin, then what? Where do you go from there? I don't know. Bomb is there aren't any guides, because frankly, no one owns these stages as of Japan. So yeah, that'll be fun, trying to f actually figure out what to do here. So with this room again, can you fly up there? I wanna fly up there, see what's up there. Worth a shot, I mean, I don't have any better ideas. Okay, that is odd to have a door right there. Um, huh. That's an odd place for a door. And it doesn't look like I can even get there. Oh, there's actually a hidden thing. Got it. And this goes somewhere. Uh, this is just a little bit strange. Okay. Oh boy, that was dumb. So jump left, oddly enough. And you get the last coin, hopefully. Hopefully, being the key phrase. This dumps you out here. Uh, I have no clue where to go, so I'm going to take a chance. Um, shoot. A literal leap of faith to see if we can actually f do this in 60 seconds. Uh, should clarify, 60 Mario seconds, not even 60 real seconds. Okay. Leap of faith. See what happens. And the leap of faith worked. Uh, okay. Where's the goal? Voila! That took six minutes. I'm not surprised it took six minutes. Wow, that was fascinating, actually. Um, I'll, I never want to play that level again, though. <laughs> to put it bluntly, I never want to play that level ever again. But it was definitely an interesting experience. So we got some cheap cheeps. Uh, oddly enough, we get a cape. Which is like, why is there a cape in this game? Because that's Mario World. You may be thinking to yourself, and the reason is because this was the same dev team. This, hey, we have all these art assets, why the heck not? So, we got a cape. Take that, Mario. Uh, uh, world. So, up here, we're like where we were. And now I have no clue where we have to go. Break these just because. Well, you can't break those. So, you still have P speed, oddly enough. This looks so weird. That animation looks so weird. Uh, now, I. Oh. Huh. This is interesting. Don't tell me I, I'm trapped. Okay, I'm not trapped. That's good. Okay, that's strange. Look, what the heck is all of this? Uh, I'm not gonna chance it. I'm just gonna like go through the pipe, see what's down here. Uh, apparently we went the wrong way. We have, we're supposed to go from the other side. Okay, this is. Peculiar, but I'm I'm intrigued to be honest. Not frustrated yet, just intrigued. Um, that don't mean we need a frog suit for this. Oh, oh gosh, no, not these fools. Uh, the Rip Man Fish. I don't know what their actual name is. It was something along those lines, but I don't remember what because I don't remember Mario enemy names because I uh just can't retain information. That's number three, so we missed one. In post, I will make a video showing what that is. Haha, because I do not want to go back for that coin. 
Oh boy. Get out of here. And we are for some reason here. Wherever here it may be. Okay, so this is a flying part. So just build a peace speed and then launch. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, so there's some very neat concepts in this level, if I do say so myself. But it's also sort of confusing at the same time. And we actually messed up. We actually messed up. <laughs> oh wow, so much for those remaining three coins. But yeah, that was actually an intriguing level. Especially because of just the power up sequence break, I guess you could call it. Chewing. This level only has three coins. Easy, right? Probably not. Because we need a shoe. Which means spikes. Which means if we screw up once, we are dead. Uh, okay, so hit the block and then jump in the shoe. Aha! Okay, got the shoe. Shoe in. Haha, -ha, I get it now. Okay, so jump up here and there's absolutely nothing. Okay. Good to know. Down, spinies. Bounce off y'all. And then get stuck. And you get totally stuck. Aha, second coin. Can you float down with the shoe? Like in uh, Wario Maker? I don't think so. From what I can tell you can. It sucks. Okay, last coin. Okay, that was really stupid. That was just really dumb. I mean, you had full power-ups and everything, I just wasted it, basically. And now we have to do this without any power-ups, so this is gonna be fun. I should at least go back and get a leaf, because... No, wait, I don't need to, I can just stand on this block. And wait out the timer. Piece of cake. Shoe. Okay. Got that. Go down the pipe. Why does animation looks weird in the shoe, when he's small? Just looks off somehow. That and hit the switch, bounce, fall, grab the coin, run, run like heck. Okay, made it here. So here, don't fall through the first pit, you see? That'd be good. Why is there a door? Why is there a door here? The door goes to another shoe. Aha, uh -huh, so you can't actually get into the shoe. I don't know how you could get through that without a shoe, but okay. Oh boy. Womp, that's not good. Okay. Uh, so we gotta jump off the thwomp. Aha, uh -huh. that's not too bad. That's a, this is actually pretty easy. Uh, compared to some of them. Okay, now I spoke too soon. It's very clear that I spoke too soon. Okay. Now one more, or maybe a couple more. Oh shoot, I see what they're wanting me to do and that's not good. Because I have to jump off of them at kind of a weird angle. This one I just dodge, I think. No jumping required. Got a 1-up. Oh, that's why we're getting so many coins so fast, because get a 1-up every time. Get out of here. Um, oh wow, shouldn't have risked it. Should not have chanced that, but we lived. And that's actually the end of the stage, it looks like. Boom. Done. How many was that? Three? Like, I don't know if we can squeeze in another one, to be honest, because we'll have to play a lot of the last stage. Slip sign away. That sounds like ice. That sounds like ice, too. Uh, these will probably take a little bit. So, probably next time we'll just do these three. And now we're gonna cut to getting the other coins in Sea Sky. So, I'll say it now. Thank you for watching. I hope you join me next time when we take on the next three to four stages of World E.